Sup dudes, I'm Kosal, the guy that talks in funny voices. I'm going insane! A few years ago, I decided to get into Dungeons and Dragons. Worst decision of my life. Welcome to episode 3 of my campaign, The Gambler's Frontier. Enjoy. I tried to erase a wheel of cheese down a hill and I, uh, I fell, I hit my head. It's probably the best thing that you don't keep your camera on. Uh, trying to figure out the land speed of a wheel down a cheese wheel down a hill. Yeah, man, this sounds really like kind of gay. You say it like that, but yes, it's true. Gas queen. Yeah, don't forget, Carlos also has a brother named Carlitos. Carlitos does not have an accent. <laughs> Whose goddamn white baby is that? You've all arrived back at the uh, Crystal River Hotel with Carlos too, apparently, who was one of the goons working under uh, Sheriff Bryce. Okay, come on, come on, Carlos. Let's let's uh let's get inside. Hey, Carlos, I'm Zanda. Nice to meet hey, you, Carlos. Zander. Nice to meet you, I think. Leila, Sha, if you can uh, come down here and introduce yourselves to to Carlos, please. You see the younger girl just come up to you, Carlos, and she just kind of like nods her head without saying anything. And the larger man just goes, uh, how are you there? Carlos, was it? Hey, hola. You, I don't think you were talking like that before. Yeah, you know, it's a long story, man. It was a wheel hit of us, cheese. Hit us head on, know. yeah, wheel of cheese and roll. I don't know, if you, I, I, are you Hispanic, Carlos? I don't think you're Hispanic. You seem like a white man. You know, I, I, I am a white man, it's true. Speaking of which, where, where is Crawley? Did, didn't we just free him? Where'd, where'd he go? Oh, he just went running off screaming again. Don't worry about it. Sha, Layla, you, you said that there was someone keeping you in this town. Um, would you mind elaborating if we're going to continue journeying together? You see Sha kind of give like a little grave look over to Layla. You fellas know anything about her? Georgia. You mean the one that was raised to the ground? Yes, and Portal ended up opening and... You mean the massacre of millions of innocent citizens for a war that is really only among a few individuals? Yes, sir, that would be it. Yeah, I know it. To make a long story short, these types of lands don't just naturally come up. A lot of despair, a lot of hopelessness happens. More fear builds up in the people. Lands tend to become something similar to that. Seems like this town is just the beginning of it happening here. I have to admit, I'm confused, Shaw. What, uh, what could we possibly do to, to fix this? These types of scenarios are usually caused by some sort of event or somebody or something coming into town and causing heaps of trouble. And this may just be a small town, but if we let it grow and fester, eventually all of Colorado is going to become something of this sort. I think we just need to maybe investigate a bit more around the town, maybe see what's up. All right, gang, you know, I I just had a, a thought, and uh, I, I the one thing I do remember is this bar six feet under. I say we uh, we go over there. All right, you make your way to the six feet under, and you see that this bar is kind of like, gri obviously very grimy, very dirty, very dusty. You see that tables are kind of like scattered. You see a very fancy, stern-looking man, very cautiously looking at his watch. And uh, you see a couple of no-name miners as well. You know, they look very gruff. They're kind of talking to themselves on a... Um, can you define which kind of miner? Uh, the the rock miner. <laughs> ah, okay, like thank you. Miners. But are they also okay, wait, children? I think <laughs> yeah, they're also kids. <laughs> and you see this bald man wiping his cup as you, uh, as the three of you walk up to him. And he's kind of like eyeing you. What do y'all have? Any recommendations? Uh, well, we got beer and a little bit more beer. I lean onto the, the counter and I just kind of like go, mm, I like the little bit, <coughs> little bit more beer. That'll be 50 cents. I throw out a dollar. Keep the change. Thank you kindly. How about the rest of you folks? Carlos? Is that you, Carlos? Hey, man. You know, it's it's me, but you know, I I hit my head on a wheel of cheese, so now I, I talk like this. Yeah, that'll do it to you. And he pours you, you know, a little little thing of beer. What about you, yes. Mr. Man? Yes. As he looks you up and yes. down, DeSantos. I'll have a quart of your finest beer. Something good for a strong man like you. I don't like the way you talk to me, woman. I'm a big man. My name's Taylor. Taylor Johnson. 
uh, I'd like some information about this place. Well, that's probably not the most polite way to ask that. I didn't come here to be polite. Not too sure we can have a whole good conversation before we become friends then, though. Alright, man, a few words I see. Come back to me when you need another drink, I guess. Yes, I will. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> what Carlos, Xander, you walk up to the uh, fancy looking man with the uh, giant top hat. Ma, Carlos, my good friend, and a, and a new visitor to town you've brought here? Carlos, why are you talking like that? Well, you know, man, you know, you, you sometimes you chase the cheese wheel, and sometimes the cheese wheel, I chase you. And... Well, introduce me to your new friend here, why don't you? Oh, Xander, Xander. Xander, nice to meet you. I am Mayor Hambly, mayor of our beautiful little quaint town of Cofferdrop. Hey, barkeep, can I, can I have a drink for the mayor? Oh, and he, he brightens up when you say this. You know, he was already nursing a drink. In fact, it looks like he's been nursing a few. Cheers to an amazing town. Oh, cheers, cheers, cheers indeed. And he kind of rubs his watch a little bit. Hey, Hamley, how about we go get some horrors, man? I hold my beer up to cheer again, cheers again. <laughs> yeah, and he, you see that he holds up a bottle of absinthe, and he, he takes up a big old sw he takes a large swig of it. And you see him getting a little bit more visibly drunker. All right, hold up. I can't. Newt, why are you rubbing your feet, bro? Right. <laughs> All right, this is. Ace of punishment. Fucking disgusting. I'm bad. <laughs> we held uh, a fellow townsman here. His name was uh, Carl. Carl. Oh, dear Carl. Dear, dear Carl. But he's kind of gone, so we actually have the inn now. Do you have the inn? You know, but that means that you can come over to our inn. You don't have to keep up this image around you know you can just be yourself around us we could do that yes let's get some roll beers some of our boys are actually right over there as you say this the doors open up treacherous mud into the saloon seems like he was digging in dirt holes or something comes a, a stout african-american man ah crawley it's good to, why are you holding an old english 40. this an old english bro. <laughs> <laughs> I be scared. Why y'all talking and not drinking? You must be a bunch of pussies. Carlos, you're hanging out with a bunch of pussies. Ah, uh, Taylor, I must say, before we leave, it has been a pleasure attending your establishment. You run a terrific bar. And I look forward to returning to for your caring service once again. He's looking at DeSantis and he says, yeah, you come again too. The next time I see you, better have information useful for me for this fucking town. Emphasis oh. on fucking. What the fuck are we doing? Let's go drink. Yeah, these are my friends. So ain't none of y'all stop looking at us. Well, hi, miss. Um, hello. Um, I just couldn't mind noticing you. But not solo. Hi, earlier. Is everything all right? You need a drink, by the way. No, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you, though. I was just wondering if everything was okay. You looked a little unsettled, and mother raised me to, you know, whenever I see a woman who may be in trouble, I got to reach out to help. That's a little cringe. Cringe? Oh, did I say cringe? I meant sweet. If that's the way you talk to women in real life, Lovelace, how are you not on a list? My lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the mayor. The mayor since daily brought us in. An opportune moment to tie the mayor to a chair and question him get actual information out of this town tie me to a chair yeah i, I um mayor to, to drink have you never done um edward 40 chairs edward 40 chairs no i don't think i have I'm gonna shoot DeSantis a dirty look and, and go to pull him aside. Absolutely unacceptable for you to try and take advantage of a drunk man. See, so I don't think you see this opportunity that we have before us. How would you feel if there was someone else in a position of weakness that you took advantage of? How would you feel 
if you were in a drunk state and Taylor decided it was a perfectly opportune moment to sit you down in a chair. Hey, I think I'm winning 40 chairs. If you're doing the right thing, reason, it ain't nothing wrong. It ain't, oh, it ain't right to kill animals, but we all gotta eat. No, but if, if you are following your own moral compass, then I believe that at any point you can become the villain in the story. I'll cheer to that. And he takes his absent and he takes a big old swig and then passes out on the spot. Oh, oh, <clears throat> oh Lord. Xander Carlos, can you help me get the mayor into a bed? I, I believe he is uh, done for the night. Uh, uh, Carlos, what do you think? Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I think so, but I, I think also maybe we, we, we rummage through his stuff, you know, we, 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 we rob Carlos, him. Uh, Carlos, you are, <laughs> I, I, I am fundamentally opposed to this. You are a member of the, the law enforcement here. I think we should go with, uh, with Carlos, his opinion here. I mean, he's law enforcement of this town, so if he says it's okay, then yeah. If you are set on this course of action, I'm leaving. I'm not gonna take none. I just want to know what's in there. It might be a clue. And Cecil heads out the door looking for Shaw and Layla. Yeah, and as you pat him down, you find a note. What's that note say? Uh, as you're reading it, Basically, it talks about how he feels like he's failed the town. You know, uh, he was trusted by John Daly to, you know, upbring it. Um, and he talks about his nightmares uh, and how bad they've been getting lately. And he's, uh, he's been having nightmares about the woods. Who is it? Who is it addressed to? To whoever finds him. Damn, that's fucked up. Uh, anything, anything else? No, that's about it. He has a watch. A golden watch. Can I, can I check? For any uh, inscriptions or engravings? Yeah, uh, on the back of the watch, it seems like it was a, is a message on there. And it says, uh, to the best mayor of Coffin Rock, John John Daly, 